Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers, and today you join me in the middle of the Oxford Seat countryside. We are at the Hook Norton Brewery, and uh, we've come to Hook Norton Classics. Now, I'm not uh, videoing plants. There's some digger behind me because I'm doing some improvements to this field here, but I do want to draw attention to my Hooked on Classics t-shirt that I'm wearing. So if you check out the channel Hooked on Classic, uh, Simone is selling these lovely t-shirts, even in size XL for people like me. But uh, yeah, today we're going to have a little look around this wonderful show. It's a little group that I wasn't aware of, but I've been made very welcome this morning. And for those of you who don't know, the Hook Norton Brewery is a, a North Oxfordshire brewery that's very nice. They make some very nice beer. So we'll have a look at some cars and uh, see what's here. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So I'm up in the top field. So there's three, we're going to look at three areas. We've got this section up here. We haven't got a huge amount of classics, but uh, we've got some. So um, yeah, this is a yeah, very nice little standard 10. So obviously the, the standard was a mark on its own before Triumph took them over. Uh, and this is a very nice example. This is very clean. Um, yeah, just such, lovely small little cars um it just, just makes you realize how how over inflated cars are now now this is very nice this is a walsley uh now they're not called 1800 but it's based on the the austin 1800 uh the land crab and that's a really nice blue i do like that I've got a fiat spider next to it and then a mark 5 escort and you don't see many of these left these are these are rare uh, we've got a bt yellow bt bedford van and these are just so oh, they're so iconic i think it's the, it's the color it's the the fact it's a, a british van but just look at the space in there it's actually quite you know it's, it's not a cramped cramped cabin like you've got some some in some vans um they even got their bt bits and bobs still in the bag um but i just love maestro vans bedford vans all the all these cars um Got an MG 1300 next to it, uh, Morton Mob Classics, so wherever that is, and that's a very attractive, very attractive little thing. I do like these, and then the, these next to it, Bedford Rascal Van, so very similar, um, very similar platform to the Suzuki Wagon. Um, but yeah, Bedford Rascal, I think there was a Japanese version as well, um, made by Suzuki. Um, got an Austin Taxi which looks fantastic. And then something completely different. We've got a very, very modified Land Rover next to it. So we've got this B, this B and this Porsche trying to get in position, but what's just pulled up into the car park is this lovely, I think this is tobacco leaf, not uh, harvest gold. It's a bit, the sun has gone in. It's actually quite cold um, this morning. Yeah, we've got a Morris Marina 1.3. Uh, which looks really well cared for. It's just lovely. Love the colour. Love the car. That B sounds rather nice. We just have a wander down here because we've got people filtering in. Just let this roller come past. Not Bentley, sorry. It's a Bentley, not a roller. Turbo R, isn't that lovely? Let's have a little look up here. We've got a very, yeah, so right at the top of the field, we've got this really nice um, Mazda MX-5 parked up next to a yellow stag and the gentleman having to put the roof down because the weather's so bloody awful. It is. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at what's coming. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's very gray skies above. So I don't know how long we're gonna, how much we're gonna get out of this today. Um, nice Alfa Brera next to it. Uh, just about, <laughs> might need to. Uh, and then a Dolomite 1500. Um, yeah, and these are lovely. Just love that slab of wood across the dash. Really nice. Volkswagen Corrado. Now these are getting good money. And this is a supercharged G60 1.8. Um, Porsche coming in. Nice Jaguar Sovereign, so modern, more modern Jag. <laughs> There's the Bentley, which I almost incorrectly identified as a Rolls Royce. So I'll get my wrist slapped for that later on. Ah, this could be a friend. ZTT. Sounds like a diesel. Morning, how you doing? I'm good. Looks very nice. Likewise, good. It's a rare event. Royal Blue. 
So I'll have a chat with these guys in a, in a minute. Um, got this lovely beetle, just uh, turned up as well. Um, so we're, you can see where we are, we're coming back down the hill now. Um, another, another blue bee and a British Racing Green, I think it's British Racing Green bee next to it. Uh, F Jaguar uh, XKR, supercharged, so very, 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 very nice sounding, very, very pokey. And then a Reliant Scimitar next to it. Now I do, I am quite fascinated by these. Um, oh, just look at those seats, brown, I think it's leather. And then the brown painted dashboard. Um, and of course, these are fiberglass. They're fiber class construction. So yeah, similar to GT. I think Princess Anne owned one of these. It's rather nice coming in there. Yeah, very nice indeed. <coughs> A Morris commercial army vehicle, which I, I know nothing about this kind of thing at all. And the wind is just starting to blow water around, which is not good. So. Nice miner and another Ford Puma. So we're finding these Fords, Cougars, Pumas, probes at these shows this year. And it really is quite nice to see them. Um, God, blind me. I'm sorry about the wind noise. It's uh, it's one of those days. It's uh, yeah, this August is not proving good. Yeah, nice Porsche, very nice Land Rover Defender. That's beautiful, long wheelbase. That's uh, tracking. Now I saw this coming in earlier, an Audi Quattro. Just so they're just so sleek. I mean, they're yeah, quite slabby, quite square edge, but it doesn't look it doesn't look out of place compared to modern cars. But just look at this. It's a it's a coupe, but just look at the space in it. It's enormous. But yeah, this is this is really nice. Saw this coming in a little bit earlier. Uh, not quite sure if this Alpha Alpha SUV is part. I think these these are probably the helpers here. Um, well, we've got old and new, we've got a modern beetle with a traditional beetle behind. Yeah, just these just turned up. So we've got a Riley, I um, can't remember what they call these ones, but yeah, very nice Riley. And then a, another Dolomite. Uh, again, I expect that's a 15 or a 1300. And then this really nice grey um, Mark III GT6. And that paint is just superb. Um, I think going for these kind of metallic, you know, respraying these cars in a kind of metallic paint like this really does, it makes them look modern in a, in a kind of nice way. But that is utterly beautiful. Right, if we have a wander, wander through here. There's a good turnout, about 15, so this is on, the, they're on Facebook, um, Hook Norton Classics. There's about 1,500 people following that page and there's a lot of cars turning up here. It's, uh, it's well attended, very friendly, very nice. We've got another, We've got a mini here, I said another because there's, there's a mini where I'm parked up as well, so I'll look at that one in a minute. Another MX-5. Uh, goodness, getting quite blowy. Got a nice little Cooper there, and then got Toyota pickup, so very, very early Hilux. I suspect it's two wheel drive, but isn't that lovely? That's just really nice. and. Uh, I think we're going to have a little pause in the filming because uh, it's blowing a gale and it started to rain. And this uh, won't quite stop yet because this little Hornet's just parking up. Horsley Hornet, of course, being a uh, mini with a boot. Posh version. <laughs> yeah, so anyone who's got a convertible, they're busily getting their hoods put back up. Um, I don't actually know what this car is. Something Italian. It's very nice. Yeah. Still people filtering in, so it's nine till one, this runs. A very nice Ford Anglia there. Then we've got this TVR. Chimera, I think this one is. Um, yeah, very, very, very cosy inside these. Um, this looks very tasty on the left here. Look at that dash. Look at that dash. That is something else. But what 
What is it? It's a Gordon Keeble. That is really quite something. I think these are quite rare and quite sought after. Uh, very nice golf convertible. And if we just wander down here. The rain is not deterring people. People are still marching in, aren't they, sir? Absolutely. You're too classic car, but you will. Absolutely. Minor countryman, Woody, very nice. And then we're into, we're into a proper bit of car. We've got some kind of modded, some modded cars here. Um, Plymouth, great big thing, absolute chunk of a car. And we've got this modded Ford Anglia. Have a little look. And that looks like it's got a pretty, uh, pretty north little engine in there. Ford pickup truck. F100 V8. Stunning. And then we've got a Chevrolet next to it. And these two seem quite small compared to the the other stuff. But yeah, lovely Corvette next to the uh, next to the F100 pickup. <clears throat> nice Volkswagen Transporter T1, I think that one is. Next to a Miner, we've got a Mini uh, Clubman Estate. Uh, got some modern stuff here. Not quite sure. I think that's just parked up here. We've got a couple of minis over the back. We've got a mini van, which looks well, it's a lovely colour. It's immaculate, isn't it? Beautiful bit of kit. Uh, next to a, I think it's a 1275 GT, it's a, I think I'm right, which looks very purposeful with its wide wheels and bucket sports seats. We've got this lovely magenta mini in front of it. So Mini Invaders, I'm seeing this Mini Invader sticker in a few places. Obviously that's a little, that's a little club. Um, so there's some modded ones. Then we've got this really original Mayfair automatic, um, which I, I just love cars like this. It's been completely un, unchanged. Uh, the temptation with Minis is to modify them because there's so many bits and bobs you can do. But that's quite lovely. Yellow Mini there, which is really nice. Um, and then this, this early 80s mini mary quant edition or something like that um and this has been modified but very tastefully so it's got the kind of the uh, 60s cooper finishing on the front another couple here so yeah good little turnout from the minis bless them bless their little faces got this rather lovely rolls royce two rolls royce i think and they're quite they're quite spectacular another hot roddy type thing here and there's, there's a lot of people here hoping you can hear me over the noise. another another rolls royce a good look inside a rolls royce engine day rolls royce very secretive about what their cars put out everything just says adequate or sufficient or words to that effect something american here And that's quite a beast. Obviously having some some work done. Yeah, there's no lacquer on that rust. They're not deliberately keeping it ratty looking. It's a Plymouth, in some description. We've got this rather massive Chevy, Chevy van next to it. And then just, just, just tucked behind that is this lovely Cortina GT in yellow, which is absolutely stunning. Next to another Ford, we've got a Sierra Sapphire. Now, I'm not sure if this is a Cosworth. It must might be a gear. It's got very very comfortable looking seats. It is an RS Cosworth, and it's got the most inviting. I remember this when I was a kid. These seats just looked so inviting when I was little. Yeah, really, really, really good. Um, yeah, love, love seeing these old commercials. This is a, a Ford van of some 
description. Stephen J. Long contractor Sutton, Oxfordshire, service belt. Uh, Fiat van, and in front of this, I remember this, we've got this rather tasty AMG Mercedes coupe. And that's rather, I'd like to hear this fire up actually. So I bet that is rather, rather, rather nice. We wander into this, this middle bit here. I was gonna stop filming, but I'm glad I, I persevered because the weather has come fairly good. Um, we've got this rather nice Aston. That is just stunning. I'm just, yeah, so cars just parked here and there. It's quite nice. Another mini, um, another minivan, another more mini invaders. And then we've got this left-hand drive or something. I do recognise it. I'm, I'm going to say Citroen, but I could be wrong. No, I'm right. It's a Citroen. So yeah, this is a very, very, very attractive car. I can't remember the exact model that this is, um, but they're certainly. Yeah, very attractive, quite iconic looking cars. Well, it's a bit, bit quieter in this area. We're in the stables, so they've got horses in there that would have pulled the beer around. Um, now, this is rather nice that this gentleman's about to move. It's a Hillman of some sort. Not, not cars that I know Mattis about, so Root Street cars are not my speciality. So that's just been moved into position. So some kind of Hillman saloon. And just coming in here is this red Austin A40 Farina, which again looks very well looked after, as is this B. It's just coming in as well. Very nice BGT. And another Mini, lots of Mini, lots and lots and lots of Minis here. Now, I've seen a few of these at shows this year. So we've got a, a Citroen AX coming in. Yeah, I'm quite fond of these, they're quite cute. That's a very nice, very nice one. AX debut, then an Audi 80. I was, yeah, I'm gonna say 80 and I'm right, it's an 80. Now we're, I'm gonna stand back a bit and I'll just uh, show you what's here. So this is the brewery. And we've got rather nice, very nice breakfast in the in the, uh, the in the cafe there. Uh, you've got coffee outside, outside seating, and then yours truly is parked just down here. Uh, and this is this BRM in front of my car, is owned guy by a guy called Terry. So we're gonna we're gonna chat to Terry in a minute. So Husley's here, looking uh, a little bit unwashed. Because Husley's done lots of uh, lots of miles recently, but yeah, in this little courtyard, so right, right up in the brewery, we've got all the MGs and Rovers and related stuff. So we've got a lineup of uh, TFs. I think there's a TD here as well. That's not a, that's not an MG. That's a Morgan, but that looks nice there. Hello again. Oh, yeah. Hello. And this is, I think this is a TD. That's a TD, yeah. Let's have a look. That's lovely. <laughs> so M so the, the, the real MGs are parked up here. Oh, right, yeah. And then we've got this, I think this is a V8. It might be wrong. We've got a nice BGT. Uh, is it a V8? Can't tell. No, I think it's just a 1.8. So that front, the front spoiler just makes, it, makes you think it's a... Uh, V8, but that's that's a nice looking car. And then next to it, I'm not sure if this is the one we kept seeing at various shows earlier in the year. It's got it's similar, and it's I think it's ha I think it is the same car, and it's had some work done to it since I last saw it. But I'm, I'm I don't know who I, I'm going to try and find out who owns this car today because I'm I'm rather fond of it. And I'd like to actually uh, do a full video on it. Um, Got some really nice, couple of nice blue spitties in the back here. So we've got sort of the more royal blue one on the left, and this this darker blue one is for sale for four two five zero. That's rather nice. Um, now this isn't an Austin thirteen hundred or a MG thirteen hundred because it's actually a Riley Kestrel. So of course 
badge engineering was commonplace throughout BMC, BL, Rover Group, call it what you will, time. Um, so this is, this is the badge engineered Riley version of the, um, the ADO 21, of course. Uh, another Mini, and then we've got this Midget and a Triumph TR4. It's not a 4A, I'm sure it's not a 4A. And the sun's come out, yay! That's good news. So, uh, yeah, rather nice. I do like these Triumph TR4s, 5s and 6s. I really love. Another T of some sort, parked up right in the middle of things in old English white, looking beautiful. It does, looks even more beautiful now the sun's come out. Um, got a bevy of Fs and TFs. Right. All right, no, no worries. Bevy of Fs and TFs. That, that one's stunning with that blue hood. Um, yes, I've seen plenty of these at shows this year. And then we've got this Austin A40 van. And I, they've got a special name, these. I, I forget what it is, but yeah. Lovely Austin van. And another white BGT over there. So let's head up to let's head up to the BRM. This this um, this BGT part behind me has been repainted in this Rover silver. And again, I think this this kind of metallic colours on the 60s and 70s cars does rather work. So there's Husley looking rather rather dirty. We'll have a, little, have a little break and then we'll get to Terry who owns the RM. So there's a few of the ones I missed. Got this AX to show you and then this Audi 80 which we did see coming in. That's Porsche. And then that Fiat Seicento. Or is that Cinquecento? That's rather nice. Merc SLK. Got an early Triumph 2000 parked up next to a Triumph. Herald, no Vitesse, sorry, always get that wrong. With an E-type Jag, and I think, did we see this earlier? This Fiat, Coupe Fiat Spider? Not sure. I recognize this car. So we're gonna finish off with this BRM that uh, it belongs to a guy called Terry, having a nice chat with him this morning. Um, so yeah, these BRMs in Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire keep coming out the woodwork. But this, I mean, I've got my Bram, as you know, which is up for sale. But this is a work of beauty. This is how you look after a car. Um, just look at the the cleanliness in this engine bay. I think that strut brace, that orange strut brace, just really sets it off. Um, if we just look down the panel work, it is absolutely mint. Lovely wheels. I just I feel slightly embarrassed bringing my dirty car here today next to this because this is absolutely beautiful custom made exhaust um, made locally in Banbury um, yeah, just look at the panels yeah, interior of course is is beautiful We've got cloth cloth floor mats which makes it a bit more comfy than mine with the, the rubbers because yeah, the seats are in good condition. Headlining is is decent. Uh, yeah, this is this is an absolutely beautiful example. And this is where I thought I'd finish off today. So, and there's Terry, the owner. Tony. To Tony. Tony. Sorry. <laughs> my, no worries. my hearing's terrible. So yeah, so this is Tony's BRM. So we, work, we worked out there's at least five in the Oxfordshire, Buckinghamshire area that, that we know yeah. of. Um, yeah, and this, this one is just absolutely beautiful. I think it's a really good place to finish this video. So thank you for letting me have a look at your car, Tony. <laughs> Cheers. So what a way to finish this video and finish my walk round of this show with this absolutely beautiful banging BRM. So yeah, I've changed the final drive. Also got a, uh, two-stage clutch in there as well so that's really really set up for for modern traffic so thank you for watching if you like what you see then please do hit subscribe um, if you're really generous join the channel as a member it's greatly appreciated but uh, for now thank you for watching this episode of Beers and Bangers I will see you again really soon goodbye